so let's just be go be Hey there, this is Nikki. Recently I've been looking on Facebook and I've noticed there's a lot of people, there's stuff going on in China with a festival that happens every year where they slaughter lots of dogs and obviously they eat dogs in China. This is upsetting lots of people online and that is understandable because many people have got pets, got, got dogs and it's really upsetting to see the dogs suffer. If it's upsetting you and you're still consuming, you know, meat from other animals, I just want you to question, you know, how is that different from many other animals? Pigs are actually supposed to be even more intelligent than dogs and even more intelligent than a three-year-old human baby. Now, not that intelligence should be a reason if someone lives or dies, you know, otherwise, you know, I hope you wouldn't kill me if I was too dumb for you. All animals have the ability to suffer, feel pain. They all have different personalities and emotions. They are just as sentient as human beings. In our culture it's acceptable to kill certain animals and in China it's acceptable to kill certain animals. It's what's, what's drilled into us from a young age. So I think we need to question what's drilled into us. If you're from China perhaps you would grow up eating dogs and cats. How would you feel if you know, everybody around you was eating this dog meat and you're like, no, and please don't do that, stop. That's wrong. It's unethical. These animals feel pain just as much as we do. And how would you feel if no one's listening to you, no one's getting that this is wrong, that they suffer, that we don't need to eat meat to survive or to be healthy at all? So just keep in mind that all the cows, pigs, turkeys, uh, chicken, fish of the world, these animals endure a lot of suffering. And um, you know, there's such a high demand for meat that these places are overflowing with animals, they're kept in cramped, filthy conditions, they're de beaked dehorned, they're branded, they're you know, slaughtered, hung up by their legs. It's a miserable existence for these animals. You know, I can see if, if you're feeling compassionate for a dog or a cat, you've definitely got the capacity to feel compassionate to all animals because there really isn't much difference. We're all sentient beings with feelings and emotions and we have the ability to feel pain and you know if you feel the slightest bit guilty about where your food comes from, that's just our nature, it's just human compassion shining through. So, you know, follow your instincts. Don't listen to what we've been brainwashed throughout our whole lives. Just because the majority of the population does something, doesn't mean it's right. Like years ago, black people didn't have the same rights as white people, but times have changed. And, you know, it's got to change for the animals as well. They're next on the list. What's that? You say you want to end animal cruelty? That's fantastic. It's really simple. Just go vegan and you're going to open yourself up to some amazing, you know, colourful, tasty, interesting food that's going to nourish you and it's likely going to make you live a long and healthy life and you're going to eliminate your chance of disease. You're going to do wonders for the planet and you're going to be saving around 100 110 animals per year if you do so go on you know it's definitely worth it that's going to add up over the years so well done well done for taking the plunge to go vegan i'm really happy about that and have a great day please like subscribe to help me share this message everywhere and go vegan go vegan